Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. Hamas television on Tuesday announced the so-called assassination by Israel of the militant group's deputy head in the southern suburbs of the Lebanese capital Beirut. Saleh al-Aruri was killed in what the propaganda TV called treacherous Zionist strike. Hamas TV is Hamas's official channel. A high-level security official in Beirut told AFP that Aruri was killed in the Israeli strike along with his bodyguards in the Lebanese capital's southern suburbs, which is a stronghold of Hamas ally Hezbollah. A second security official confirmed the information, adding two floors of the targeted building and one car were damaged. Lebanese state media reported the strike hit a Hamas office in Beirut's southern suburbs, a stronghold of Lebanon's Iran-backed Hezbollah movement. Hamas TV also said Israel had killed Aruri in Beirut, and Lebanese media said a total of six people were killed in the strike. The strike will add to persistent fears that the nearly three-month-old Israeli-Hamas war could become a wider conflagration. Gunmen from Hamas, which has ruled the Gaza Strip since 2007, killed around 1,140 people, most of them civilians in their October attacks, according to an AFP tally based on official figures. On Tuesday in Gaza, Israeli forces battled Hamas militants among the ruins of the heavily bombed Gaza Strip. The Israeli army said soldiers had killed dozens of terrorists, including some carrying explosives, raided a weapon storage compound in the southern city of Khan Yunis, and discovered long-range rocket launchers and tunnels. Hamas-run Gaza's health ministry said 70 people were killed and more than 100 wounded in the previous 24 hours during Israeli raids. In the southern city of Khan Yunis, Israel twice struck the Palestine Red Crescent Society, PRCS headquarters, PRCS said, resulting in five casualties and three injuries among displaced people who had sought refuge there and at a nearby hospital. The health ministry in Gaza said four people were killed, including an infant. Aruri, in early December, had said, the price to pay for the release of Zionist prisoners will be the release of all our prisoners after a ceasefire. Aruri, who lived in exile, is accused by Israel of masterminding numerous attacks. He was elected deputy to Hania in 2017 before being officially named the group's number two. In October, the Israeli army demolished Aruri's home in the occupied West Bank. AFP TV images showed scores of people in the streets of Ramallah to protest Aruri's killing, which Palestinian Prime Minister condemned. The war has also led to almost daily exchanges of fire on the border with Lebanon between Israel's army and Hezbollah. Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels have also launched attacks at Israel and against cargo ships in the Red Sea, where the US military has assembled a multinational task force to protect the vital shipping lane. This alleged act of Israel is seen as a possible escalation of the conflict in the region. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section.